The following video discusses gender expression. Gender expression versus sexuality. Gender expression deals with how you choose to express yourself and how it is related to femininity, masculinity, ambiguity, and androgyny. Sexuality deals with your sexual preference. Sexuality and gender expression are not the same thing. LGBT consists of lesbian, gay, and bisexual, all sexuality. T stands for transgender, which is gender expression. Gender binary consists of cisgender and transgender. Cisgender is when your gender expression aligns with the sex you were assigned with at birth. For example, when a female internalizes femininity. Transgender is when your gender expression does not agree with the sex you were assigned with at birth. Transgender binary consists of, but is not limited to, male to female and female to male. Male to female is someone who was born a male, but later identifies himself as a woman. In today's culture, we are most recognized with Caitlyn Jenner and Ryan Fox. Female to male is someone who was born a female, but later identifies himself as a man. The transgender community is a minority. They are stereotyped in the media and are the targets of violence and discrimination. They have higher suicide rates and homelessness rates. Gender performance is cross-dressing versus drag queens. Cross-dressing is wearing clothing, clothing typically associated with the opposite gender, for example, a male wearing woman's clothing. Drag queens are males who perform a stylized femininity for work, entertainment, etc. Typically identify themselves as a male. According to, according to GLAD.org, they give some helpful ideas and tips on how on some questions people might have about gender expression. For example, one question might be, how do I ask someone about their gender expression? They explain that you cannot tell if someone is transgender just by looking at them. They do not look a certain way or come from a particular background. It is safe to assume that there may be transgender people in any sort of gathering. Do not make assumptions about a transgender person's sexual orientation. Another question people might have is how do I know which pronouns to use? They explain that to listen to what pronouns are used when others refer to that person. For example, a close friend of theirs will most likely use the correct pronoun. If you would rather ask, lead with your own. Hi. For example, hi, my name is Jill and I prefer she, her. How about you? Once you know a person's preferred pronoun, use it correctly and encourage others to do the same. If you accidentally use the wrong pronoun, apologize quickly and sincerely and move on. Don't ask what their real name is. Respect confidentiality, disclosure, and outgoing, and understand that coming out as a transgender is very different than coming out as a gay, lesbian, or bisexual. Do not ask about their genitalia, surgery status, and sex life. Make a habit of referring to all people with gender-neutral pronouns, for example, they or them, until you are aware of which pronouns they personally prefer. For example, instead of referring to a masculine-looking person standing across the hall as that guy over there, refer to them as that person over there. They might very well identify with their masculinity, but you will not know until they tell you which pronouns they prefer. Avoid backhanded compliments or helpful tips. While you may intend to be supportive, comments like the following can be hurtful or even insulting. I would have never known you were transgender. You look so pretty. You look just like a real woman. She's so gorgeous. I would have never guessed she's a transgender. He's so hot. I would date him even though he's a transgender. You are so brave. You'd pass so much better if you wore less or more makeup, had a better wig, etc. Have you considered a voice coach? Challenge ignorant or anti-transgender remarks and jokes even when they come from LGB people. Support gender-neutral bathrooms because everyone deserves to be comfortable enough to use public restrooms. Listen to transgender people. Help make your company or group truly trans-inclusive. LGBT is now a common term that joins lesbian, bisexuals, gays, and transgender under the same acronym. If you are a part of a company or group that says it's LGBT inclusive, remember that transgender people face unique challenges and that being LGBT inclusive means truly understanding the needs of a trans community. At meetings and events, set an inclusive tone. At a meeting where not everyone is known, consider asking people to introduce themselves with their name and preferred pronouns. 
For example, hi, I'm Nick. I prefer the pronouns he and him. This sends a message that you are not making assumptions about anyone's gender and are free to self-identify. Start with yourself and use a serious tone that will discourage others from dismissing the activity with a joke. However, if you feel this practice will have the effect of singling out the transgender people in the room, avoid it. Also, in a group setting, identify people by articles of clothing instead of being gendered language. For example, the person in the blue shirt instead of the woman in the front. Similarly, sir and madam are best avoided. If bathrooms in the meeting space are already gender neutral, ask if it's possible to put gender neutral signs on them.